Once you guys got another video here for you on how to change your fan speed and create fan profiles in the BIOS uh, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to do that now if you've just built your PC you're going to notice that uh, the fans are spinning at 100% and this can be quite annoying uh, the, the CPU uh, cooler and also the fans will be ramped right up full speed and it will sound like you're in Ethro Airport so if you want to change those speeds I'm going to show you how to do them in this video now you can do this from the desktop but the BIOSes have become so efficient nowadays and so good that you can do it inside here and set a nice little profile up and it's really easy to do so let me just show you here basically how you can set this up so once you get into your BIOS the first thing I like to do inside here is go to the fan info and then look inside your BIOS here and look for CPU fan foul warning control this is normally turned off I like to put this back on just in case the fan starts to die on the CPU and I want to know that the temperatures are getting too hot so that's a little warning there so you can see here we've got two areas here um, we've got the CPU and we've also got the system temps now these are the controllers that are built onto the board the PWN controllers which we plug our uh, fans into and we can control them from inside here so if you go for the little settings cog here this will open up the hardware monitor now the hardware monitor is going to allow us to make changes you can see it's set to uh, smart fan mode this is how I've got mine set up you can change it to whatever you like if I turn this off you'll see the speeds will ramp right the way up to the maximum speed it can go so this will be due to your uh, heatsink and whatever the revs per minute that can go to it will go maxed out and it won't fluctuate it won't go down it won't go up it will just say maximum same thing goes for your system fans if I turn the smart fan control off what's going to happen is these will ramp right up you can see this little red dot here if I push this all the way up to 100% this will mean that it's going to ramp those right up to 100% and it will go to the maximum uh, revs per minute for uh, those each an individual fan so be very careful when you've got your new build here this is what it's going to be like it may be ramped right up like this and it will be very loud you can see the graph here it's now gone right away up and this is what normally people run into you normally get really high levels of sound and you don't really want that it's not efficient and uh, you don't need to have it ramped right up like that unless you want a super cool uh, system and you don't mind a loud noise then you can obviously leave it like that if you wish but me personally I find it just a bit pointless and I want to get those sound levels down and I also want to keep the system nice and cool when it needs to be when I'm ramping it up playing games and stuff like that I want the uh, CPU to start spinning up a lot more and I want the system fans to spin up a lot more so let's go ahead and put the ticks back into the smart fan mode here and we can now change the little uh, sliders inside the graph here this is the best way uh, to set it up so I'm going to put smart fan mode on and you'll see those uh, revs per minute drop right away down for the CPU and the system fan now you can see I've got it under system fan 1 here that's because they're all going through the same header on the board and I'm just going to quickly show you on the right hand side here which shows you the levels of uh, these graphs here so we've got the first one which is 33 Celsius you can set it to Fahrenheit if you wish and you can move these up and down that's going to be 40 percent system fan make sure you're on the system fan level this is your revs per minute and this is your uh, basically the temperature so we're going to move this up to whatever you want here i'm going to set mine at 33 celsius at 40 percent 49 celsius at 70 percent and you can move these up and down to suit your needs so don't just go by my graph go by your own needs and your own computer every computer is going to be different and every motherboard will be different also so just set it up to whatever you want here but basically I want my system fans to say at 70% at 49 degrees Celsius and you can see here 64 degrees Celsius I want them ramped up to 185% and then when it gets to 77 degrees Celsius inside here I want them running at full optimal speed now you can obviously have these differently and you can see the revs per minute has dropped right down 
The temperatures on the other end are still doing pretty well. So I'm going to move over to the CPU now and you can see uh, we've got this running at uh, the revs per minute here on this uh, bottom side and on the left hand side will be your temperatures. So we can see I've got 41 Celsius. I want the fan spinning at 60%. 51 Celsius 70%, 64 Celsius at 80%, and when the CPU gets to 74 Celsius, I want it to run at 100%. Now you can change this to your own needs, but personally, uh, you can see the temperatures here. We've got running 41 Celsius on the CPU, and the system fans are running at around about uh, 750 revs per minute at the moment. You've got the all set cancel, all set uh, default, and you've also got uh, all full uh, speed that means you could push this and it will all go at 100% for the CPU and for the system fans now these speeds are perfectly fine for my setup what I want here the CPU is at 41 Celsius this is running on air it's not a water cooled closed loop system so it is air and that's good enough for me idle um, I'm not too worried about that if I wanted to ramp that up a little bit more I could change the speeds a bit but then up goes the decibels and the noise inside the case which makes it a little bit unbearable for me. So I'm just leaving it at this. I think 41 Celsius will be at 60%. That's good enough. And again, 51%. Once it starts to get a little bit hotter, the uh, CPU will obviously spin up a bit more. Be a bit more aggressive on the CPU uh, side of things rather than the system fans because the CPU obviously needs to stay cool. So don't lower these too low because you may find your temperatures will get a little bit too toasty for you. So just keep the CPU uh, temperatures a little bit more realistic and keep those uh, percentages how you want them for your CPU. Now obviously I could literally at 33 Celsius have this at 60% if I wanted to but of course that will cause more noise and uh, the temperatures will then come down of course but basically that's how you can set this up you should see system 2 and system 3 these are just the uh, fan headers on the board and the same thing for CPU 1 and 2 those are the fan headers or the headers on the board which you plug your uh, cables into and it's just controlling those. Now once you get this set up to how you want it and you get to your desktop, the BIOS will take care of your fan controller, it will control your CPU fans and your system fans and keep your system running at the optimal uh, performance which you've set it to in the BIOS. Anyway, it's a really important thing to do and it's an important step so get used to doing it because once you build PCs you'll probably have to go in here and tweak these and make it sound uh, a lot quieter but still keep that system nice and cool. Hope this one helps you out. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.